Hi, this is Don. They call me Uncle Weasel. <laughs> I approve this video and this build. <laughs> well, guys, it's Corey here back at Penny's Hot Rods and Customs. Just me. But anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to be back on this. I have been working on, actually, I've actually done quite a bit uh, since last time you guys have seen it. Uh, the master cylinder is all mounted. Um, a lot of this metal's all stripped and everything else. With that out of the way, but yeah, this is all done. The other side is done too. Um, I even did just finish making it. I didn't finish uh, filming any of it, but I did fabricate my last little piece that goes up underneath there. So I'm going to weld that in. And there's some finishing welding, and I got a lot of grinding to do, and I've got seam sealer, so I think that's what I'm going to do today. It does look like a bomb went off in here. Ryan and Kevin and Derek, I do believe, are doing a six horse for a buddy of theirs, so they stuck this crap in my garage, but that's okay. So I think they're supposed to be here later today to start building this thing. So anyway, I guess what I'm going to do now is, I guess, weld that guy in. Uh, I got some stuff here to weld up and whatnot and a little bit of paint there to clean up but i think after i'm done that then i will fabricate my z-bar i'm going to put my engine back in and then i'm actually going to make sure everything is in line and everything should work in theory so that's my plan like i said uh, i was going to finish all this up and then start a new video about doing my front suspension but that will be in the next one it's just uh this stuff takes a lot longer than you uh you think it might so and I don't have any Bondo here because I was going to finish grinding that a little bit and just put a thin little smear of mud right in there and whatnot in a few spots, but eh, we'll see. Anyway, I guess I'll uh, set this up and uh, we'll weld this, this little guy in. And this part here is to uh, clear, give me a little bit more clearance for the distributor to take it in and out if I have to. So thinking ahead. So yeah, it's coming along slowly but surely. Okay guys, Bug was just here, he gave me a hand, we put the engine back in because I need he needs some room to put this engine back together tomorrow, so, or maybe later on this afternoon, anyway, I've uh, finished welding, it's hard to tell, but I have finished welding all up there, so I'm going to start grinding it, I can still do it obviously with the engine in, so, and also I finished a lot of welding underneath there, there's still a little bit more to go, but there's a, there's a lot of, going to be a lot of grinding, so anyway, what I think I'm going to do right now, is uh let's see i think i'll start working on my z-bar brackets like i said it is where it's got to be everything has worked in theory so what i have come up with is just this little piece of cardboard here uh, and that's just gonna go there i'm gonna make two of them on there and then i'll just put a little gusset uh, maybe i might need not even put a gusset on the inside or uh square it off but i will put a little thing in here and i'll finish welding that up and then later on when i pull the engine i'll cut that little guy off there but everything does work for my pivot and everything. So that's awesome. So yeah, I guess I'll cut this guy up and uh, that. I'm not going to lie, I'm getting tired of doing all of this little finicky stuff. But oh well, it's all part of it. So I guess I'll uh, cut these guys up and uh, we'll weld that in. Also too, while I was doing it, I uh, welded up all my little holes. Finished welding all that up. <coughs> Pardon me. So then I'll just grind that out later on. So yeah, slowly come together. What I think I might end up doing later on this afternoon just to kill some time is I'll grab my orbital and start buzzing over some of these body panels and just piddly little things, maybe take out a dent, who knows. I'm just gonna, this video is just basically doing a bunch of little piddly crud. Notice I didn't swear. So anyway, I guess I'll set up the uh, tripar and I'll cut that guy out. And then we'll weld her in. Oh yeah. You're gonna try to put a little swoop you do in it. So in theory, that would kind of work through there. Now we'll cut one at a time. Best investment ever, marker. Make it. All right.
All right, we'll let these guys cool off. I'll uh, push it a little bit. We'll clean these uh, grind marks and then uh, we'll weld them in. Ooh, hot. All right, not too bad. All right, I'll uh, start welding them in. Ugh. See, what I always like to do is uh, like getting off all the rough cuts. Where did I have it? I just switched it out here. Garage isn't that big. Hmm. Huh. Where did I put it? Man, getting old here, folks. <laughs> Find the back here. Ah, here it is. Yeah, I just like using these guys, the little flapper guys. You can buy them anywhere. This one's Prince's Auto. But yeah, it just takes off all the, the sharp edges. Okay, guys, I've got my pieces already cleaned up. What I like to do, camera can pick up, I always like to put an edge on there. That way the weld will go in there, fill it up, and make it a lot stronger. That'll go like that. And I did the same thing to this side. So I'll weld this side in first, and then we'll uh, weld that one in. Then we'll, uh, maybe I'll throw a bunch of welds in there too. Right now I'm just going to tack these in. I'll try to do this one first. And then, uh, and then I'll pour away uh, my helmet there. And yes, I always do, but this right now for tacking in. Just to hold it. Alright. That's where that one will go. And we'll do the same thing to this one. Not bad. We'll call that an ending, Chris. Well, as the smoke or I guess the paint haze kind of goes down, I was kind of, uh, well, I was over grinding and welding and everything for today. And also too, I had a couple guys stop by and uh, visit and one guy actually wished me a happy birthday and got me this for my birthday present. So thank you, Gerald Shattuck. So anyway, so I was kind of bored afterwards. I'm like, ah, we're gonna put this thing in primer or part of it anyway. And no, I've still got a lot of body work. Like I've still got to do all the grinding and welding and on there. Here I still haven't uh, fixed or whatever. And this needs attention and, you know, but at least there's, you know, you can see where it needs to be fixed. So like I said, uh, most of the body is in primer now, except for that door, which I'll probably take to work tomorrow or the next day and grind it on my lunch. And I'll finish off that quarter. And uh, I did start making the radius piece for that. So I'll grind that down and uh, weld that in and then shoot that in primer. So yeah, doesn't look too, too bad. By no means, this is not what it's gonna be, but I just figured out, ah, we'll put it in uh, some sort of color or something. So at least gives me some sort of motivation to work. So yeah, not too bad. I did realize, I knew there was a dent in this door here. Didn't realize it was quite that bad, but that's gonna be easy enough to pull out. So the roof is pretty straight. There's a few little, eh. I think, yeah, there's a few little rough spots right there. And I think somewhere along the right over there, there's a little dent. So that should be easily fixed. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna uh, let the uh, paint fumes kind of clear out of here a little bit and clean up and then uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, looks like it's in one color, sort of all right. So I do have a, uh, a color picked out kind of deal, so we'll see. 
we'll be back let this uh, paint fumes kind of disintegrate here well as you can tell maybe by or maybe not the uh, haze in the air I just couldn't leave well enough alone so I uh, just quickly threw on my fenders just with a couple bolts and I shot the hood in primer just a high build yeah, if you knew me you know I'm not gonna leave well enough alone if you don't you haven't been watching the channel shame on you so anyway, I, like I said, I just put a few bolts in it, put my scoop on it. I still got to drill a hole, put the scoop and mount all that. But uh, as you can see, it's kind of all in one color. Fender's just sitting there, so don't judge me. Um, like I said, I think tomorrow I'll take that and finish that. Uh, this side here mm, hasn't got much of the treatment because like I said, I'm not using that door. I've got a better one because that one's all rusted out in the bottom, I believe. But uh, I'll show you what I've got. Yeah, because I know that one's got some issues. So I think what I'll do tomorrow for work, for lunch. Oh, now we can get out of the garage here for a few minutes because it stinks. We'll go for a little walk. Poor Pontiac saying, you're neglecting me. Why aren't you working on me? I should. I've got everything for the suspension, like literally, literally everything. To put it back together and the disc brakes uh there's my hood or the door there the green one against the fence because that one's good but it's got all that's and i just want it for the hardware and this one's got a bunch of issues but it's good for the hardware <clears throat> and i think even for the glass for the template too so like i said that was well worth it so i'm gonna go dig that door out when i'm done this throw it in the back of my truck and i'll do that tomorrow at lunch i think tomorrow the next day is supposed to be the last nice day it's actually really nice this uh, past week and a half or so. Doo, doo, doo. So yeah, it's starting to look like something. Sorry it wasn't a very exciting video, guys, but it's all part of it. Uh, like I said, I had big plans. You know, I kind of, well, between you and I, we kind of just played hooky today. Told him I was sick, so I wanted to get a lot of stuff done. I did get a lot of stuff done. I'm just rambling here. But then by the time Gerald was here which was nice he uh, gave me that for my birthday which was really nice of him didn't have to do it but thank you gerald and donnie well it's always a trip when he's here and he was here for about an hour and a half or so he took my uh took a good portion of my afternoon anyway so but as always guys i think this is where i'm going to leave this video like share subscribe leave a comment good or bad uh for you henry j guys out there that are watching uh let me know where you can get uh all my uh weather strippings and all that stuff and the door sills and all that stuff and I'll need all that. I know it's probably not cheap, but hey, I need it. And same thing, uh, I think Chris and I came up with an idea for the windshield rubber in the back window. And then also I will replace these ones too, so not to worry about those, but I just know it's not gonna be cheap. But as always guys, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, good or bad, what I should do to this turd next. So yeah, it's starting to look like something. All right guys, adios, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you, Gerald.